hello Aries welcome to my channel this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts this is your reading for the second half of January 16th through the 31st happy happy new year guys um, I hope it's been going well for you so far so just a reminder that there is still time to submit your entries for the free reading giveaway the deadline to do so is the 31st of this month so if you're interested go ahead and um, turn in your submission all right guys so what we're going to be doing today is a general reading on how do they feel about you how does your divine masculine feel about you and or how does your divine feminine feel or look at the connection that you have all right guys so um, if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, all that info will be down below this video. All right, guys, so again, this is general, it won't resonate with everyone. So let's go ahead and get started, Aries. So focusing on the energies of my divine masculine, where is he coming from at this time? What is in his heart, his mind? What is he needing to express that he possibly hasn't? So let's take a look at that. Divine Masculine Energy for Aries, please, angels and spirit guides. All right, Aries, Divine Masculine, here we go. Aries, Divine Masculine, what's happening? Okay. Well, we've got solitude to start off with. This is Virgo energy, guys. Um, hermit energy from the traditional tarot deck. So if my divine masculine Aries is um, connecting with a Virgo, it's picking up off of that energy. Okay, so let's pull some more for my divine masculine. Okay, we've got quite a few here. Well, we've got the firm foundation coming through. We also have deception and envy coming through here. So seven of swords energy. We've got conflict and defeat. Five of swords energy. However, stand your ground coming through as well for my divine masculine, which is the seven of wands. All right, so let's pull some for the divine feminine and let's see what's going on with her. All right. Well, she's got obstacles and challenges that she is going through and emotional withdrawal. So quite a lot of heavy energy coming forward in regard to this connection. Let's pull some more. So for my divine feminine Aries, please, angels and spirit guides, please bring it forward. For my divine feminine We've got the waiting game coming through here, which is two of wands energy. One more for, whoa, 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 that one flew out. Hold on one second. Okay. All right, well, we've got financial and material changes here, guys, which is picking up off of the energies of the five of uh, pentacles. Okay, so bottom, of the deck we've got triumphant success for Aries which is the energies of the ace of swords all right so again guys I'm picking up some heavy energies here between my divine masculine and the divine feminine so let's delve into it let's start so we're starting off with the solitude card that is the hermit energy that's falling into um, the divine masculine side. So he really needs to stop and still his mind. He needs to search for the answers to his life's problems. Okay. He needs to make more cautious decisions in his life. He needs to really reflect and reevaluate the state of his affairs. He needs to follow his own heart rather than what everyone else is trying to dictate or advise him to do. He needs to really look within himself for the answers on how to figure out 
where it is he wants to go by way of the direction of his life, especially in regard to his romantic life. So he is in problem solving mode at this time. He needs to focus on seeking and finding solutions to what is no longer working for him. It is, however, picking up off of the energies for my divine masculine Aries that someone from the past is going to be re-entering his life. Whether that is a good connection or not has yet to be determined, however. So it's definitely picking up off of the energies that one phase of my divine masculine's life is coming to an end and a new phase will be starting. So he really needs solitude right now. He really does need to be in hermit mode and find some peace and quiet in his life right now because his way of thinking, his world is too chaotic. Okay, he needs to, to focus. He's got the firm foundation card right next to that which is four of pentacles energy. So he definitely wants to create more stability and security for himself, especially financially, and to take care of himself moving forward into the future. You know, definitely he's working on that. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of scattered energy here though, because even though he needs to go within and really quiet his world and, and still his mind to really figure out, okay, where do I want to go now? What is it that I want to do to better my life? And even though he, this is what he wants by way of a firm foundation, it's been a bit of a struggle I'm feeling to get this stability and security um, going. But I am feeling eventually he'll succeed in doing that. But it's, it's a bit of an uphill battle for now. But I am picking up the energies that he will eventually succeed towards that because the overall theme of this reading is triumphant success okay it's picking up off of the energies of the ace of swords so there is power and victory with the energies of that card that is blessing this overall reading so i am feeling for my divine masculine eventually he will find it within himself to succeed in that area of his life so we've got a couple of swords that are also here for my divine masculine. Okay, so, oops, I'm showing you the wrong side. So we've got deception and envy here. Okay, so this is the seven of swords energy coming forward. So there's problems in relationships that need to be resolved by talking things out, by better communication. My divine masculine needs to decide to set firmer boundaries from, for himself and to hold on to, <clears throat> excuse me, his individuality in this situation. To create a more cautious attitude in how he interacts with his divine feminine. Because it's important for him to maintain his integrity and his space in this situation. It's important for him to have his own, yeah, his own space. So I'm feeling for some of my divine masculines that he has asked his divine feminine for a little bit of room to just think things through. Because I'm feeling that this couple, this connection, they have had their share of problems. He does have conflict and defeat right next to that. Five of Swords energy. So he's realizing that the only way to end this headspace that he's in is to let go and surrender to it. To accept the situation for what it is. And although it's, it hurts him initially, it will allow him to heal and to find a new direction to, for him to move in. And so my divine masculine is working towards 
really creating this firm foundation for himself, not only in regard to his finances, but really all areas of his life, especially in regard to his romantic connections with his divine feminine. Because there have definitely been some challenges in regard to this connection. Definitely. Now we do have the stand your ground card here. Okay, so it's picking up off of the seven of wands energy. He's ready to show his strength in the situation. He's very determined. He's courageous. And he's ready to demonstrate these qualities in regard to the situation with his divine feminine. He's definitely a leader. He's not one to back down and just sit down and, and be defeated. That's not his nature. But it is picking up off of the energies that past conflicts and issues have the possibility of resolving themselves. Okay, so even though he has endured some challenges in regard to his connection with the Divine Feminine, I am feeling that for a small group of you, um, there, there's a possibility of working through the conflicts and whatever issues have risen up in regard to this connection. Because again, the overall crowning energy is the triumphant success card, guys. Ace of Swords energy, new opportunities. That is, that has the opportunity to fill you with excitement, eagerness, and optimism. Okay, so there's a level of enthusiasm that it's bringing forward in regard to this connection. With the opportunity to use their individual willpower to make things happen in regard to this connection. So it's not a lost cause, regardless of the heaviness that has come through from, from both sides. Okay. So I, I really feel that this couple, regardless of the challenges, if they work through it, they can succeed and come together on a more solid foundation and really learn to accept each other for who they are and to love each other um, and really enjoy the connection. Because on her side, the Divine Feminine, we do have the Five of Wands energy. So she's definitely dealing with some obstacles and challenges internally. There has definitely been disagreement and strife in regard to this connection with her divine masculine. You guys haven't always seen eye to eye with each other. And it's coming through with some sort of competitive interaction between her and her uh, divine masculine. So maybe he when you guys are arguing with each other, perhaps the divine masculine is very hurtful in how he chooses his words and he makes her feel smaller than she is. Makes her feel that she's not good enough. And so when that happens, she kind of goes within and she withdraws from interacting with her divine masculine. She just wants to escape from the disappointments that she's encountered in regard to this connection. But I am feeling that she loves him. But times get a little bit rocky at times. 
you know they don't always connect in the best way and it's also coming through with the energies also that if the divine masculine doesn't get his act together you know she's gonna move on as painful as that will be for her she'll move on that's for a small group of you but for for others I am feeling that with the triumphant success ace of swords energy blessing this reading this couple can make it they can work through whatever challenges arise so my divine masculine just needs to tailor back a little bit of how he's interacted with his divine feminine and i am feeling for a small group some of my divine masculines have been entangled in a third party situation and that has also caused a rift with his connection with his divine feminine definitely contributing to the obstacles and challenges definitely contributing to her withdrawing from interacting with him giving him the silent treatment at times she's also got the waiting game here two of wands energy so a part of her is ready to meet whatever challenges he brings forward in regard to this connection but she's welcoming the opportunities for change as well she wants things to be better in regard to her connection with her divine masculine she's confident in this connection regardless of the challenges so i'm feeling the energies from my divine feminine that she knows that eventually they can be successful in a partnership she knows things have to change she knows that things have to progress you know move things forward they can't stay where they're at because where they're at is they're dealing with all of these obstacles and challenges he's in a weird headspace himself but with luckily the triumphant success card the ace of swords energy here this partnership needs work yes but there can absolutely be victory in this connection there has to be some work done absolutely but it can be done because my divine feminine sees progress with this card she knows that putting the right energy towards this connection they can make it financially she's struggling a little bit financial and material changes so i'm feeling that she doesn't get the financial support or assistance from her divine masculine that she occasionally needs and she's kind of on her own in regard to that um it's definitely picking up off of her energies of insecurity and worry in regard to her finances but that I'm feeling is a short-lived energy because with the triumphant success card she's going to get out of that mode and again I am feeling that eventually whatever rift challenges obstacles are coming between the divine masculine and divine feminine they will work through it and eventually be a power couple and be victorious in this connection all right guys so let's pull some romance angels cards for aries and let's see what the angels can contribute to this so focusing on the energies of the divine masculine first and then we'll pull some for the divine feminine so angels please bring forth 
the energies for Aries Divine Masculine. So this is a perfect example of a couple that they definitely have their challenges, but they can make it through. They can absolutely make it through beyond whatever challenges they're facing. Okay, so he's got the free yourself card on his side. Now, in this instance, it, it's time for him to take back control of his life by way of really releasing the negative energies that the deception and envy card and conflict and energy card are bringing forward in his headspace. He needs to free himself from that way of thinking in order to really enjoy his connection with his divine feminine because at the end of the day, they are good together, okay? Um, and I'm feeling with this card coming through, he will do the work necessary in order for this relationship to move forward. He's going to stand his ground, absolutely, and um, voice his concerns, his opinions towards what needs, what he feels needs to progress this relationship forward, but he's going to take control of his life once again, okay, especially once he comes out of being in hermit mode and deals with whatever um, issues he has brought forth in regard to this connection because he has certainly contributed to the problems that they are facing. So he's imprisoned himself into that way of thinking through this conflict and defeat card, and it's up to him now to free himself from that way of thinking, to really stand his ground and bring this relationship to fruition. All right, so let's pull a card for the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine for Aries, please, angels. Divine Feminine messages, please. And I, I firmly believe that with that triumphant success, Ace of Swords energy coming through and blessing this union, that's basically what's saving this relationship. Divine Feminine, okay. There we are. She sees the possibility of new love here. So in this instance, guys, it is really opening up a chapter two for this connection. It's an opportunity for them to really rise above whatever obstacles and challenges they have endured as a couple in order for them to really see love from a different standpoint and enjoy the connection and really be happy moving forward. As I had mentioned with this Ace of Swords energy, this connection is coming towards victory. They will come into a seat of power and realize they belong together and they can absolutely get past whatever issues they had endured together. Because it's interesting how the bottom card, guys, is chemistry, okay? So this couple, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, there's a very strong magnetic attraction between these two people. And it is that chemistry that is going to continue to glue them together and to continue for them to continue to be attracted towards each other. So yes, they've got some work to do. The Divine Masculine has some work to do. My Divine Feminine has some work to do. There are energies that they need to break from in order to bring this relationship into reality, into fruition. But I'm feeling with the Ace of Swords victory card coming through here, they can do it. And look at the card below that. Victory and success coming in for this couple, this connection. So it's overall, guys, it's very good. All right, so let's close out your reading, Aries, with some healing messages. Whoever it is that needs to hear these healing messages, these messages are for you. So whether it's for my Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine or anyone tuning in that really needs encouragement and needs to hear these messages at this time, these healing messages are for you. All right, here we go for Aries. Aries, please bring it forward healing messages for Aries. Okay. 
All right, guys, so we've got the power card here coming through, very fitting because the divine masculine and divine feminine absolutely are in a seat of power, as I had mentioned, to bring this relationship to fruition. Okay, they have it within themselves to work through the struggles, to work through the issues, the obstacles, the challenges, deception, whatever headspace they are in. They have the power within themselves to bring this relationship to a successful union. We also have the dreams card coming through here. I firmly believe that this couple, they are each other's dream come true. They have dreamt about bringing this union to fruition. And the angels are affirming that. Okay. Bottom card, serenity. So with this union, with the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together and working through their issues, I do feel that the chaos... Um, that has plagued this connection um, and again whatever challenges they had endured they're coming into a place of serenity once they work through their issues and I do feel that eventually that's going to happen again they've got great chemistry between the two of them ace of ace of swords blessing this reading powerful couple a victorious union is what's coming through here. All right, Aries. So those are my messages for you this second half of January. Um, some pretty intense energies that came through here, but eventually I'm really feeling that there's nothing that these two people cannot work through. And ultimately, it, it is a very victorious union. So some pretty good positive energies after all. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'll be back in February with um, more readings for you. Again, if you're interested in submitting uh, your entry for the free reading giveaway, please do so. Um, still have a couple weeks to do that. And for those of you looking to book a private reading with me, that info is down below this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.